So good day guys, I am Andre Alferos from EC31 and I am here to present my experiment number 6 about 8-bit pulse width modulations. For the objectives of our experiment, first is to understand the pulse width modulations or PWM operations and second to apply PWM in brightness control of LED. For the equipment and components, we are going to use the PIC16 F18875, 220 ohms resistor, LED breadboard, connecting wires, picket 3 or 4, and power supply. So, to start, I introduce to you the pulse width modulation or PWM that can be useful in many ways. One being able to control the brightness of a light emitting diode or LED. Varying the time between pulses at a very high rate can make the LED look dimmer or brighter without the human eye detecting the flashing. The same technique can be used for speed control of motors. PWM can be a useful technique on many designs and a PWM peripheral is built into most 8-bit MCU devices. Just like before, our MPLAB X IDE, go to File. New project, click standalone project, next, let's look for our device, PIC16 F18875, there, next, and our compiler too, so let's just wait, okay there, next. And since this is experiment 6, let's name it as EXP6. And now we can click finish. We can go to tools, embedded, for our code configurator. Choose select MCC classic. And click finish. Now we can immediately change our package to PDIP40 to have the appropriate pick. And on the device resources, we are going to add PWM, specifically PWM6, this one, as well as the timer there, timer 2 or TMR2. What we are going to do now is just modify some of the settings here in the TMR2, especially the clock source. Let's go to FOSC or Frequency Oscillator over 4. There. And to cater for post scalar, instead of 1 is to 1, go to 1 is to 16. There. And for the timer period, let us just copy this the 16. 384 ms or milliseconds so 16.384 ms there that's all for the mr2 and for the pwm6 just check if it's checked enabled timer 2 50 percent and active high and then going back again on the pin manager grid view let us just enable in port a the output and four so here and then on the system module just check if is it H20 OSC 4 megahertz 4 and low voltage programming is enabled or checked for the pin module we're just going to uncheck the analog and check the others still on the default settings everything's all right and now we can generate after generation complete, we can go to projects and look for experiment 6, source files, and open our main.c file, as well as the pwm6.c file. This main.c file and pwm6.c file works as partner. So, we are going to locate the while loop here there and we're going to extract some codes here especially the load duty value so I'll do the code 
Now that I have finished the code in the while loop, I'll just explain some of its parts. So I have added here the pwm6 underscore initialize, wherein I extracted here. As I said a while ago, it works as partners. So it is here, pwm6 underscore initialize. And I inputted for int is equal to jute int duty is equal to 1, duty is less than 512, duty is equal to duty plus 10. So it means that at first, the duty is equivalent to 1. Wherein, if this is duty is equal to duty plus 10, duty will now be 1 plus 10 is 11. And that satisfies the duty is less than 512 or 11 is less than 512 until it no longer meets this so the program continues for the next pwm6 underscore low duty value duty for int delay is equal to 1 delay is less than 500 delay plus plus and the cycle repeats and we can see it later on the hardware it seems that everything is all right we can now build click this hammer button I just got some errors on my first build but on the second build it's already okay so I can now proceed with my hardware but before that before entering or going to the MPLAB X IPE let us just connect first our connection on our laptop there you go because MPLAB X IPE might not recognize it if it's it not yet connected so to explain this basic connection the first pin VPP will go to pin 1 the second one will go to pin 11 VDD the third one will go to pin 12 VSS the fourth one pin 40 ICSP data and finally the fifth one on the pin 39 ICSP clock and if we see this it's okay it's lighting then now we can proceed to MPLAB X IPE after loading the MPLAB X IPE we can now connect our device since we already inserted it on our laptop and just wait for some seconds just click OK and since our target device was not found so it's very basic go to settings advanced mode and type my project there you go so here this is the advanced mode we can go to power change our voltage level from 5.0 to 3.125 just check the power target circuit from picket 3 and browse our hex file And this is our hex file for experiment number 6. Let's just open it. And after opening, there, hex file loaded successfully. There is a notification below. We can now program it. Just click OK. And let's wait for some seconds. Okay. Therefore, I can say that programming complete and now we can proceed with our hardware. And now this is my pre-made circuit. To explain this, this is the PIC16 F18875 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 slot RA4 that is connected in series with a 220 ohms resistor. And that resistor was connected to the positive terminal of the LED and the negative terminal of the LED was connected to the ground. On the 11th and 32nd slots, those are the VDDs. That is why those are connected on the positive side. While on the 12th and 31st slot, those are the VSS and those are connected on the negative side. So I have inserted positive supply negative supply it is 5 volts DC 
and now we can test it so let me just insert this on our socket there so as you can notice this is the result of PWM so let's just take some time to see it and appreciate it Okay, I guess that's it and there is some questions create the actual circuit as shown below to test the code supply positive 5 volts in pin 11 and ground in pin 12 write your observations below so I have observed that upon connecting the power supply the LED turns on and off not in an abrupt manner like a blink of an eye but rather in such a way that it slowly fades the transition of on or off and vice versa and it is true over here so this is the proof that it blinks not in an abrupt but slowly it's like fading there okay and to conclude this experiment as its name suggests pulse with modulation speed control works by driving the motor with a series of on and off pulses and varying the duty cycle the fraction of time that the output voltage is on compared to when it is off of the pulses while keeping the frequency constant and that's it my experiment number six i hope you like it you have learned something thank you and god bless